Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. High voltage technology. And today our topic is uh, breakdown of vacuum. Uh, as we have started the, the chapter of uh, breakdown of gaseous insulators. So in this chain, uh, uh, we have to discuss the breakdown of the vacuum. Okay. So first of all, what is the, the vacuum? Uh, as you know, uh, a complete vacuum uh, well, won't be work for us. So, uh, actually, how the vacuum is created? Actually, we have to reduce the pressure uh, of uh, the gas in any container or any uh, tube. So, as soon as we are reducing the pressure of the gas, uh, uh, sooner as we will get the vacuum. So, uh, as per the standards, uh, high vacuum. Uh, is called uh, when the pressure is reduced to 10 to the power minus 6 tor 10 is power minus 3 to 10 is power minus 6 tor tor is actually the smallest unit of the pressure okay 1 mm hg is equal to 1 tor okay so uh, now very high vacuum uh, the range for very high vacuum is 1 into 10 to the power minus 6 to 1 into 10 to the power minus 8 tor and similarly, uh, for the ultra high vacuum, the range uh, is exceeds the 10 raised to the power 9. Uh, okay, uh, the, the range is 10 to the power minus 9 and below. Okay. For the electrical insulation purposes, the range of vacuum generally used in the high vacuum. Okay. So, uh, how the vacuum can be used as the dielectric and how the breakdown of the vacuum uh, process occurred. In a high vacuum, an electron crosses the gap without encountering any collision. Therefore, the current growing growth prior to breakdown cannot be due to the formation of the electron avalanches. However, if a gas is liberated in the vacuum gap, then the breakdown can occur by the Townsend process. Okay, there are three uh, main categories for the breakdown process of the vacuum. Uh, the one is the uh, particle exchange mechanism, B field emission mechanism, and C is clump theory. So now discuss uh, it one by one. The particle exchange mechanism: uh, a charged particle would be emitted from one electrode under the action of the high electric field. And when it impinges on the other electrode, it liberates oppositely charged particles. Uh, we can uh, explain this by this uh, by by using this figure. We have the uh, cathode and anode. As the electron emitted uh, from discharge from the gas, so the electron will move towards the anode. Okay. Now, as the electron moves towards the an, uh, towards the uh, anode, and the the cathode are moving towards the 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 positive electrons are the positive ions are moving towards the cathode. These block uh, the dark dots are uh, representing the electrons, and these white uh, circles are representing the photons. Okay. These, these are the, uh, the electrons are moving towards the anode while the, uh, the protons are moving towards the cathode. When the fast moving proton uh, hits the cathode, so if the kinetic energy of these protons are, uh, sorry, these are, these are the positive ions, protons, okay. When these uh, protons are, um, the kinetic energy of these protons are greater than the work function of the cathode, so the electron will also be ejected from this cathode material as we have discussed in the last lecture. So uh, then these electrons, these uh, ejected electrons are said to be uh, secondary electrons and this process is called the secondary ionization process. Okay, now uh, from the surrounding uh, or uh, by the excitation or the de-excitation process as we have discussed as in the de-excitation process, the electrons uh, when jump back to its original position, they are releasing the energy in the form of photons. So these photons 
uh, in the chamber also uh, play a role of ionization when uh, these photons are striking to a neutral particle they also ejected the electron or when these photons are hitting the cathode they uh, ejected they can eject the electrons from uh, these cathode materials these are also called as the secondary electrons okay so this uh, is actually the particle exchange mechanism the particles are accelerated by the applied voltage back to the first electrode where they released more of the original type of particles when this process become cumulative a chain reaction occurs which leads to the breakdown of the gap okay the particle exchange mechanism involves electrons positive ions means protons the photons and the, uh, the absorbed gases at the electrode surface okay these are actually uh, the electrons okay these are the photons which are according to the process when the electrons are uh, coming back to its uh, original position they are releasing the uh, photons actually uh, this process is the de excitation process and uh, the electrons have haven't enough energy to knock out from the nucleus hole so the ionization is not occurred rather the de excitation has been occurred so these photons can also uh, play a role in ionization of the vacuum okay so these are represented by these wires and these are the positive ions means the protons okay the, this side and these these are the secondary electron that has been ejected from the cathode materials okay a uh, the, we can say that a, a breakdown can occur if uh, we have uh, fulfilled this condition that is a plus b ab plus cd is greater than 1 okay now what is a b c and d okay so a is uh, are the released positive ions from the impact of the charged particle or b is the liberated electrons from the impact of each positive ion okay and c are the photons and d are the liberated electrons from the impact of each photon okay so if we we come back to the figure so uh, it will be quite clear a are the release positive ions from the impact of the charge okay so a are the um, positive ions these are the positive ions these are a okay now what is b b are the liberated electrons from the impact of each positive ion okay from the impact of each positive ion means these are these are the electrons that has been ejected from the impact of positive ion so these are b okay now uh c c are the photons okay so these are c are the photons and d are c are the photons okay and d are the electrons that uh, has been ejected by the impact of photons okay so the condition is when a plus uh, a multiply b plus c into d is greater than 1 okay so we can say that uh, a breakdown is occurred in the vacuum according to uh, the particle exchange mechanism okay and if it is less than 1 then uh, the the breakdown is not occurred according to this theory okay so now uh, what about the field emission theory according to this theory uh, when the uh, okay there are two mechanisms in uh, field emission theory the one is uh, the anode heating mechanism and the other is cathode heating mechanism as we have uh, discussed in the previous weeks that 
the make the breakdown can also occur by the thermal mechanism that is called the thermal ionization so uh, uh and we have also discussed the condition for the thermal mechanism that is the thermal energy must be greater than the ionization potential of the gas in order to knock out the electron from that gas particle so uh this uh, mechanism is now the thermal ionization mechanism is uh, clicking over here so according to this theory when the electrons uh, are hitting the anode so by this hitting a heat is produced okay the, by this hitting a heat is produced so this heat actually uh play a role in ionizing or ejecting the electron from the anode okay so uh if this heat or this thermal energy is greater than the uh, work function of this anode material so uh, what will occur electron can be ejected from this uh, anode particle and uh, these electrons then strike with the neutral particles of the vacuum uh, so ionization is occurred okay so uh, actually uh, this process occurred due to the anode heating mechanism and the cathode heating mechanism is similar to the anode but the process of heating is uh, occurred over here um, the, uh, when the positive ions are striking or hitting the cathode so heat will be produced and this heat is now responsible for the ionization of uh, a vacuum inside the chamber okay so this is the theory behind the breakdown of the vacuum according to the field emission theory okay now what the third uh, theory says about the breakdown of vacuum that is the clump mechanism basically this theory has been developed on the following assumption okay the first assumption is a loose bond particle that is called clump exists on one of the electrode surface this particle get charged when high voltage is applied and get detached from the mother electrode and is accelerated across the gap the breakdown occur due to a discharge in the vapor or the gas released by the impact at the target electrode okay so let's discuss this by with the help of this figure this is actually uh, the assumption of the clump that is uh, that can be easily detached from the cathode uh, okay when the high voltage is applied due to, due to the impact of this high voltage uh, the, the 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 clump can be easily detached and flowing towards the anode okay so now uh, the vapors have been uh, created and this actually uh, are responsible for the breakdown of the vacuum okay the clump is detached from the cathode surface and is associated and, ac and across the gap so because of this uh, crossing the gap the ionization has been occurred so we can say that the vacuum has been the, the breakdown of the vacuum has been occurred okay so that was all about the uh, breakdown of the vacuum uh, which can be which was explained by the three mechanism the one is the uh, particle exchange mechanism in which the particles are exchanged and uh, the breakdown is occur and for this a condition uh, was introduced that is ab plus cd must be greater than one and later on we have discussed the field emission theory and the field emission theory we have uh, the two mechanism the anode heating mechanism and the cathode heating mechanism okay and uh, then uh, the last one was the clump mechanism and uh, this theory was only validated if uh, we have the clump exist on the electrode surface if, and if the no clump was uh, will exist on this electrode surface then this theory will not be validated validated okay
so that was all about the vacuum uh, breakdown uh, thank you for the moment